Hey, this is Brent, and today I want to show you how to add or overlay the uh, 3.0 SDK and use it with Flash CS 5.5. As you know, Air 3.0 was recently recently released at Adobe Max. In fact, I got a chance to go there and I got this cool Adobe Developer Connection shirt. So, big shout out to the Adobe Developer connection people. Boy, it's hard to read that script. So uh, anyway, take a look how to overlay the Air SDK using Flash CS 5.5. So in order to install the new Air 3.0 SDK, first you need to download it. So we go to our favorite website, adobe.com, and you do a search for Air 3.0 SDK, and then you get sent to a link it says download and then you get sent to another link it says download and then finally you arrive here so make sure you download the correct one we're going to look at the Mac one first so go ahead and download that once it's been downloaded then you want to extract it once you have it extracted you're going to have a folder that says Adobe Air SDK the next thing you want to do is switch over to your applications folder and from there oh, I've got a couple of these open huh here we go I want one of them from here we navigate to our flash CS 5.5 folder within the applications folder and you've got some stuff here notice that uh, we have one that says old this is from when uh, we had overlaid the Air 2.7 SDK. This is very similar, uh, but this is for 3.0. Now, because Flash CS 5.5 currently is looking for a folder named Air 2.6, we have to trick it. So we're going to rename the old one, and we can just click on it and click it, and then go. Just kidding. 2.7. Are you sure? I'm sure. So what we've done now is we've renamed it. If you ever want to go back, you can always you know rename it to Air 2.6. So now we come back here to where we had downloaded the SDK. We drag our folder here. Now we need to rename this one to be Air 2.6. Perfect. Okay, now, from here we need to go within this folder and we need to go into Frameworks, Libs, Air, and then we need to take this Air Global, airglobal.swc, and we need to copy that. So go ahead and click Copy, close that up, and then we need to go into common and I'm just gonna kinda wanna kinda 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 go in like this and go in like this configuration and then we want players oh I take that back I'm getting ahead of myself don't worry I know what I'm doing we want to go to action script three and then air 2.6 then we have air global now I want to paste and we're gonna replace it so now we have the new Air 3.0 Air Global.swc. And what this does is it lets you get uh, be able to compile and build against the 3.0 APIs. Okay, so I'm backing out, backing out. Now I want to back out one more time. Now I'm in common. Now I'm in configuration again, but this time. I'm in players. This is what I wanted. Now we're here. Okay, now we're going to edit a few files. So we're going to edit this uh, Air 2.6. Let's just go with TextMate. Sounds good. And we're going to edit this line here that says version. We're going to change that to version 13. Go ahead and save it. Then we're going to do the same thing to this Air iPhone.xml. And I'll just double click it. 
and double click it. There it is. And we're going to change that to lucky number 13. And the last one we want is Android. The reason we want to do this is so that when we create templates and we compile, I mean, we create new apps, it automatically targets the correct Flash version so the compiler knows, hey, we want to get these new APIs for 3.0. You would do the same thing here if you wanted to target Flash Player 11. That's the same concept. All right, go ahead and save this, close it, and next thing you know, you're ready to go. Next, I want to show you how to do this in Windows. So here I am now in Windows, and I'm back at the same download Adobe Air SDK website on Adobe. And this time we're going to download the Windows SDK, of course. Once that's downloaded, uh, you're going to want to extract that. Uh, extract it to a folder so that it maintains everything. Otherwise, if you extract, if you do like extract here, it's going to place every single file on your desktop and you'll have a huge pile of files that you don't really want. So extract to folder is a good option. Then we need to navigate to our Flash CS 5.5 installation folder. So I've got that here. And if you had followed along before and saw the how to overlay the Air 2.7, this is nearly identical to that process, just um, slightly changed for targeting 3.0. So you noticed here that we've got the Air 2.6 old, and I want to do the same thing with this one, but this time let me rename it maybe Air 2.6 really 2.7. Okay. And then I want to drag this folder into here and then rename this. To, whoops, don't want to go into it yet. Let's rename it Air 26. The reason for this is that currently Flash CS 5.5 has things that are internally looking for the Air 2.6 folder. So we have to trick it, we have to confuse it, we have to use some subtleties, some sleight of hand, we have to be ninja-like. Alright, now we've got this folder, so we've got the new folder. Now in order to uh, see and compile for the 3.0, we need to do a couple things. One, we need to pull out of the Air 2.6 folder a file. So let's go in here. Now we're going to jump into the uh, Frameworks folder and then libs, air, and then we have this airglobal.swc, and that's the file that we want. So go ahead and right-click that and choose copy, and then we're going to back out of this folder. And what we're doing is we're backing out so that we can place it uh, where Flash can see it. So once we've copied it, then we need to go into common, and go to configuration and action script 3.0 and error 2.6. Again, we're leaving the folder name the same, and then we're going to paste this. And we're going to copy replace. Now we have the updated error 3.0 error global SWIC. All right, so once we've done that, then we need to edit a couple of files so that it will compile and target the correct runtime. So to do that, let's back out here. Back, back, back. Okay, so from here, uh, we need to go into common one more time, configuration, and then we're going to go into players. And now we're going to edit a couple of files. And the files that we want to edit is this air iphone.xml 
So I'll go ahead and right click that, edit. I like to use Notepad++, it's a free editor, it's a nice one. And then uh, what we're wanting to change is this reference that says version player ID F, uh, PF11 and this version right there, that guy, I want to change that to 13. What that means is it's targeting the Flash Player version. It tells the compiler that it can access this other code. So once we do that, then we want to save it. Oops. Save. And then we're going to do the same thing with two other files. One is the uh, Android file. Right click, choose that with Notepad. And we're going to do the same thing where we have this version number. We want to change that to 13. Lucky number 13. It's awesome. Okay, and then the last file we want to change is the Air 26 XML. Let's go ahead and edit with Notepad. Plus plus. Change this to 13. Go ahead and stop pressing the wrong button and save it. Okay, and that's it. So we've replaced the folder. We've copied over the airglobal.swc file, and we've edited a couple of uh, player files so that when you use Flash CS5, it will now target Air 3.0.